Hey y'all, I just wanted to come back on here and uh, because on my last message that when I was speaking, I sat there and I asked, uh, I didn't say it correctly. Um, so every, every one of us carries the spirit. We have the spirit within us, every single one of us, okay? And um, I'm just going to read from the Bible for you from uh, John uh, one, John four, chapter four, verses one till I'm done. All right, um, all right. It's going to be one to six. All right, and it just explains a little bit of the uh, spirit to you. All right, and keep in mind our spirit. Our spirit knows truth. It's a gift that's given to you because we see through eyes of faith. And we grow daily and we learn daily. And understand, like me, myself, I'm not religious. I'm spirit. I'm a sp uh, spiritual woman, I suppose. But I'm not religious. But I am spiritual. Alright. So, and, and we learn daily and we grow and, we, uh, and our, the truth expands within us. Okay. Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can recognize the spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus, that, that does not acknowledge, every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus, they are not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. You, dear children, are from God. And have overcome them. Because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They are from the world. And therefore speak from the viewpoint of the world. And the world listens to them. We are from God. And whoever knows God listens to us. But whoever is not from God does not listen to us. This is how we recognize the spirit of truth and the spirit of falsehood. So, yeah, so every every one of us has a spirit within us, okay? And like me, I used to carry, I, I, uh, I in a sense, carry uh, the Antichrist was trying to uh, in, in, uh, uh, put his impression on me. But I, I told y'all before, I don't know if you... Um, I, I had a friend, and I, I have a friend. I asked her years ago. I said, girl, are you saved? She said, baby, i always been saved. I just didn't know it yet. And that spoke so many truths to me. So many truths. And, um, but yeah. So, no matter, Satan can't take what's God's. But it's important that we speak out of our vessel that we speak from our vessel that because it devours the darkness it freaking devours it there was something else I was reading let me see if I can find it real quick Warnings against denying the Son of God. Dear children, this is the last hour. And as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have come. This is how we know it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they did not really belong to us. For if they had belonged to us, they have remained with us. But their going showed that none of them belong to us. But you have an anointing from the Holy One. So it's like uh, they tried, but they can't have God's children. 
But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and all of you know the truth. I do not write to you because you do not know the truth, but because you do know it, and because no lie comes from the truth. Who is the liar? It is whoever denies that Jesus is Christ. Such a person is the Antichrist, denying the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Whoever acknowledges the Son has the Father also. As for you, see that what you have heard from the beginning remains in you. So what you hear, what God teaches you. Now again, there are wolves in sheep's clothing. But when you have the Spirit of God, not the Spirit of religion, but the Spirit of God. Spirit of religion is a form of the Antichrist. But when you have the Spirit of God, you know. And you grow. And you become into a higher awakening. We do not, we do not deny the Word of God. And we also do not talk such horrible things on the Word of God. The Word of God stands through the end of time. It was here from the beginning, and then it became flesh, and it dwelt among us. Jesus Christ is the living water. This is the water. It's built in our faith system. We will grow. We will learn as we go more. Like, I got a lot of learning to do. You know what I mean? There, I, I have a lot of more awakening going on in my day-to-day -day life right now. All right? The same as you. But you hold strong. You do not let go of the truth. Let go of religion. The religious practices. Let go of the religious practices. But do not let go of your God. And you can't if you are a child of God. Nobody can pull that from you. Nobody. But it says, as for you, see that you have heard from the beginning remains in you. If it does, you also re will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is what he promised us. Eternal life. Don't, don't lose your faith. Alright? I am writing these things to you about those who are trying to lead you astray. I was just led to this. This wasn't what I went back looking for. Just so you know. Let's see. As for you, the anointing you received from him remains in you. And you do not need anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about all things, and as that anointing is real, not counterfeit just at it as it has taught you remain in him so and that's the thing is when when you are a true believer when you come to accept jesus christ as your personal lord and savior and you accept the true living god you accept jesus we see by eyes of faith it is an instant download now it is good, um, like when I got saved, because I didn't know, I, I mean, I didn't know. The only thing I knew was church and the Bible. It's like, I need to go to church and I need to get a Bible. And I was actually already in church, like, but I knew I needed to stay in church. You know what I mean? And God worked on me through that, okay? And that's why there's some things, when you have the Spirit of Christ, there are some things when you have it in you, it's in you. You know. You know. You know. That little inner being in you. Uh, intuition, Holy Spirit. My intuition is the Holy Spirit. Because the, the Holy Spirit guides. Right? And I hope the same for you. And But we have to learn to let it grow in us. Let it guide us. Um, let Follow its promptings. Follow its leadings. And it's not always easy, man. <laughs> but... You will know, you know, you know. Nobody can take that from you. They can try to cloud it up. That's why it's saying, do not be deceived from the ones that are trying to take this from you. But they can't. Because God says nobody can pluck, can pluck what's mine from my hands. So when you are a child of God, no matter what comes to get you, nobody can take that from you. 
Always remember that. Nobody can take that from you. Find your ground. Keep on praying. If people are calling you horrible names, if they're saying you're a bad Christian, if they're saying this and this and this and this about you, that's just a sign of the Father on you. Because you know. And the world don't accept you. And the world is intimidated by you. And the world don't like you. That's okay. The world don't like me either. All right? But we are to live in our in truth. Truth is also our truth because we are a temple. We become we are one. We are united. We know each other. All right? We are one. The ways of Christ are instantly in us. Nobody can breach that system. They can't. Because it is holy. It is divine. It is special. And nobody that is outside of Christ is allowed to understand the ways of, out, of Christ. There was a time somebody, it was actually, uh, whatever, we don't got to, I don't got to say who it was, okay? But I always knew. I was like, you know, like I told somebody before, I was like, well, uh, I can't, I can't remember. Thank God it's a race. Woo -hoo. But uh, this lady told me, she was like, if you know the ways of Christ, because I've never been focused on the enemy. I have never been focused on knowing the enemy. I don't need... And, and somebody told me, they're like, well, you need to know his tact. Like, he was getting mad. Now I know why. Antichrist spirit. And I was like, he was getting mad. Because I was like, I don't acknowledge Satan. I do. I have not... I'll tell y'all right now. I have not gone into the Bible and dug for Satan. I don't need to. And why would I do that? Why do I want to research something that I already know is I mean yeah no I don't need to do that and like I said that person was getting mad I, I, I could feel it I was like something is wrong like well you got to know the ways of an enemy to take down an enemy no I don't I and that's what my mentor told me she said because I I, I don't agree with her about like I do actually I do the devil don't need to be brought up in the pulpit period I mean, you can talk to explain people about his ways. Not explain people about his ways, but warn them of him and his deceptiveness. So it's a very fine line. But to really sit down and Bible study, yeah, you got me messed up, buddy. Like, uh, like I don't need to be in a church that is giving Bible studies about Satan. And I'm not saying a church was. I'm just, you know, always remember that. You don't know. And my mentor told me, she sat there and told me, she was like, listen to me. If you know God, you know everything that goes against God. That's all you need to know. Because then you know. Because if you know if you know God, you know that's not of God. You don't even know nothing else. Because you're already on the winning team. You're already going to win. You're already set to win. God said it. We already got the victory. We praise the victory for it. Praise God. Praise God. It will not always be this way. Praise God. It will not always be this way. And we have to learn to let people, places, and things go at all costs. At all costs. If they, if they do not want to fall in line, you can love them from a distance. You can. Some people you literally can't get away from. Like you're literally stuck with them. It's how the enemy works. Do you think God is going to make you... Somebody could say they're Christian all day long. Do you think they're going to make you st stay somewhere that you don't want to stay? No, they're going to let you go. They're going to pray for you. They might pray for you. They might warn you. But God is a God of love. He don't, he don't make you stay somewhere that you don't want to stay. Oh, praise God. They will let you go. And they'll also let you know that they're always there for you. That is the power of Christ. Okay? And, um, yeah. So, yeah, that was a huge message for myself, too. So, uh, I'm trying to see where I can snap back from this real quick. Because I don't know where we just went. I mean, I know where we went. We were with God, so it's safe. It don't matter. It was safe. 
but yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm done. I think I, I think this is done now.